Good morning. I just eaten breakfast. It's 6.30 in the morning. And now, now it's time to get underway. <sighs> Pretty. Let me just get underway and then I'll let you know what's going on. All right, Batman, you good? Let's roll. Here on channel one six. All right, let's see if I can drive boat and talk at the same time. Yes, this is two things at once. Can I do two things at once? No, don't be fooled. It's time to leave Lake Macquarie. I have had such an amazing time it's been so chilled out i've seen all my friends down here it's been so good special thanks to my friends oscar and ella who lent me their van they were like hey we got the van we're not using it you might as well have it i was like i don't really need a car i've been doing fine without a car used it every day thank you very much that was awesome and now i'm literally just heading out from lake macquarie i need to get back up to the gold coast so today I'm just going to start my proper sail north. I'm just going to do a day hop to Nelson's Bay. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you will know that um, that we actually stopped in Nelson's Bay and Anna Bay and around there with the Mog way back then. And I remember it being super pretty and I remember thinking it's gonna be so good one day when uh, we sail into here. And so I'm actually gonna finally do it. Assuming this sail goes according to plan. So today should just be a day hop. Once I actually get out of the seaway, which is just up here, it should only be eight hours sail. The wind is supposed to be a little bit sporty today. Also, my stupid friggin' autopilot is, it works, but it doesn't connect up to this system, which means I will have autopilot, but I'll only be able to control it from the actual autopilot. Um, so that means I can basically only use the function, which is like heading hold, and um, and I use the wind hold function. If you guys know what that is, it just keeps the same angle to the wind. And that's pretty useful if I need to go directly into the wind. So I keep the wind angle at relative to the boat as zero. So I keep the boat straight into the wind, put the autopilot on, tell it to keep that angle to the wind. And then I just head straight into the wind and put the main up. I should be able to sort it out one way or another. I don't think I'll need the main, but Batman's gonna hold the team together like he always does. Freaking legend. Always just get like the slightest bit of apprehension when I haven't sailed for a little while. There it is, rising right where we thought it would. I got 2.3 meters under the keel. Once I round this bend, might be a good idea to throw that headsail up, I think. Radio. Let's turn. Straight into the sun, please, Frankie. Officially sailing. Up and throw away the key, a pack of hyenas, he, he laughing at me. They took many shortcuts by backstabbing me. If I don't get out they grip, then these vultures won't dip. I ain't afraid to die and fly off to the sky, but I got more life to live, so today I'm gonna try to strive, not to hide behind my fears, hide behind the years, and hide behind these tears. Lord, please take away all these imperfections. They're going a lot faster than me. I mean, I'm doing like about six knots over ground, about five, just over five knots through the water. I've only got the headsail out and I have filled it in the tiniest little amount. It's just because I have got a little bit of PTSD 
from when I saw 52 knots. 20 knots on the beam. There's Newcastle up there, and that's the start of Newcastle sort of there. And I'm just about to start. Whoa. Yeah, okay. So that just went up to 20, 25 knots. Might need to pull in a little bit more head salt. Are. I mean they weren't real hectic anyways but they're noticeably less the closer I get to land which is good. We got some dolphins and there ain't no way I'm going up there to catch this on film. I'll see if I can grab it from here. Oh, there they go. cool strafing the beach there's uh there's some public moorings just up just up ahead on navionics it says small pleasure craft now am i a small pleasure craft or a small pleasure craft like a kayak <laughs> hopefully i think the wind tomorrow is supposed to pick up a lot but it's supposed to change a bit of more direction so i'll be a little bit more in the lee of this um this little sort of peninsula here. I'm not quite sure if that's a public one. Right here, chuck a Yui and see if we can pick her up. <sighs> and Timon retains his 100% strike rate for picking up the moorings. I'm here and it is bang on three o'clock, which means that took me uh, five, eight and a half hours. Max speed 9.1, average speed 5.6, which is uh, really good. <laughs> All right, I am actually exhausted. I am exhausted from sitting right here for about eight hours and doing not much at all. <laughs> Autopilot did all the work. I was lazy and uh, instead of using Batman, I used the autopilot. 
basically the whole way. I did not want to get into here in the evening, but have a look. It's so pretty. Do any of you guys watching uh, actually remember when Bex and I were here in the, in the MOG, driving on the sand dunes? I have come full circle. <laughs>